Do you know that the horror film character Freddy Krueger was solely based on a real-life serial killer who lived in Rockville, Iowa in the 1800s? According to court records of the time, Mr. Krueger was known to have killed at least 20 children within a three-mile radius of where he lived. He reportedly murdered most of the children using only a gardening claw. He lived inside an old abandoned disused factory north of the town, where he would bring his victims. Having set up a small living space, and torture area, within the mechanical room of the facility. Back then, a mechanical room was also known as a boiler room. Mr. Kruger was eventually caught by his own recourse by accidentally starting a fire in a part of the factory where he burned over 70% of his body. While in the hospital recovering police investigated and he was later arrested after they found his room of horrendous horrors, he was later tried, and found to be criminally insane. He spent the rest of his life in a psychiatric hospital before dying in his sleep at the old age of 72. But shortly after his death a string of unexpected deaths weirdly occurred in Rockville involving young teenagers and children while they were sleeping in their beds, before they died a few parents said their children would wake up in the middle of the night from the night terrors to what they witnessed a burned and scary old man with a claw was trying to kill them and they would refuse to go back to sleep we now know why to this day, and long before the Elm Street films, Rockville has since became a ghost town where all residents have long moved away in fear that it was haunted by the ghost of Freddy Krueger. So what do you think is it fact or merely fiction I'm glad to say it's well I will leave it up to yourself to decide thanks for watching happy Halloween.